Hello, my name is Jonas Manson. I'm a general surgeon at Physicians Regional Medical Group, and I specialize in minimally invasive and robotic surgery. Hepatobiliary diseases pertains to any disease ranging from the liver, the bile ducts, and down to the pancreas. And there's numerous disorders that can relate to either of these organs. In the liver, we can have benign cysts, which, or hemangiomas, which is a conglomeration of blood vessels that don't need treatment. There are other solid masses, such as liver cancer or metastatic cancers that can present in the liver that can be found on workup for other cancers or sometimes incidentally on imaging. These lesions in the liver often need further workup, which would possibly require an ultrasound, MRI, or a CAT scan. Occasionally, we do need to do a biopsy of these lesions. If the biopsy would come back such as a cancer, these can be resected, sometimes minimally invasively or robotically, and other times with an open approach. Disorders of the bile duct can present often with jaundice, that's yellowing of the skin or the eyes. Usually it's painless and your loved ones might notice that your eyes have turned yellow. This would require extensive workup, including MRI, CT scan, imaging, and possible upper endoscopy. Disorders don't always have to be malignant. Sometimes we can have benign diseases such as gallstones that go into the bile ducts and can cause a blockage and can cause yellowing and jaundice in those instances. Disorders of the pancreas can also present with yellowing of the skin, jaundice, often painless. A mass that would obstruct the bile duct that goes through the pancreas can cause these similar symptoms. These would also need further workup. Just as in the liver, the pancreas can have benign cysts and lesions that can be found incidentally on imaging. And it can be very scary at times as you have an imaging performed for maybe a kidney stone and you find a cyst on the pancreas and just those words can be scary. Most of these cysts are benign but do need to be followed to ensure that there's no malignant potential. Malignant or cancerous lesions of the pancreas, often they're found early, can be treated with surgery occasionally with a minimally invasive or robotic approach, sometimes with an open approach. Again, workup is key and close follow-up for any lesions that are found in the liver, bile ducts, or pancreas. These are addressed in a multidisciplinary approach where we use our gastroenterologist, our radiologist, and surgeons to address these different disorders or lesions that can be found. If the workup for any of these lesions of the liver, bile ducts, or pancreas lead us down the path of surgery, then depending on the approach and the surgery, recovery and preparation would alter. Small lesions in the distal pancreas or in the liver can sometimes be addressed or removed robotically or laparoscopically. Recovery for this is much quicker than an open approach hospitalization for one to two days and back to normal lifestyle in about three weeks. Other lesions of the pancreas such as a cancer in the head of the pancreas or larger lesions of the liver that are required an open approach will require a prolonged hospital, st hospital stay for about one to two weeks and a recovery of about six weeks. Physical activity after a minimally invasive or robotic approach in regards to the liver or pancreas is usually about three weeks. Light activity is very important, such as walking and low impact exercises. These exercises can be resumed within a few days of surgery. Larger surgeries that are performed open, the liver and pancreas, when there's a hospitalization, light activity such as walking is resumed the next day but strenuous activities such as golf, tennis, pickleball, or the gym would need to be held off for at least six weeks. 